I needed to make some sort of a report. This was manipulation and a mastermind hurting a child. Another couple weeks later, a truck pulled up behind me and he motioned for me to pull over, and I did. They had me get out of the car and um, on the side of the road, they took turns uh, raping me and kicking me and um, spitting on me and telling me that I'm ugly and disgusting and trash and, and that I'm not gonna talk ever again. And they left me there in the dirt on the side of the road and drove off. My husband told me we either need to press charges or we need to move. And so I was too scared to press charges, so we moved. Around June of 2015, uh, he showed up at my house. He explained to me that there would be some men that would show up, and when I heard the revving of engines, then I was supposed to leave my house, and they would drive me to a hotel, and there would be people there. They expected me to pleasure them, and so that's exactly what happened. When the revving engines happened, I left the house. In my head, I was also to the point where I thought it was best for the safety of my family. This went on for at least another year. Probably two nights out of the week I would go and I would often have to hide bruises and cuts and things from my husband. In 2018, there was an incident where a man showed up to my house and he broke through a window and immediately a shadowy figure came towards me and beat the crap out of me and proceeded to take out a knife and carve the word trash into my stomach. These men have continued to harass me, harass my family with messages and with showing up and occasionally hurting me as well. We have gone to the police multiple times about the assaults and they believe that I am mentally ill and have made this all in my head. I've continued in this nightmare since I was nine years old and it continues until this day. Well, Rachel, I, I'm glad to meet you, but very sorry for the circumstance. I, I wish we were talking about a thousand other things he as well. than, than this. You say that this community member said he would lose everything if you told anyone, and you cared about him, so you kept the secret. And that's a typical tool uh, of these adults that victimize children, is they get them into their confidence, this is our secret, and it's either I'll hurt you, your family, or you'll hurt me. And so they put a big guilt burden on the child at the time, and that's what was done with you, correct? He was a master at it, you know? He, he did everything grooming-wise. And as I have gotten older, that's, you, you feel guilt because you, were, you fell for the tricks, but I've had to remind myself, I was nine years old and he was a master at what he did. I didn't have a chance. Not to short shrift or trivialize the things that happened as a child, but this didn't stop during childhood, this went on, and, and that's something that has to be dealt with as well. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.